Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us again for another Coast to Coast. So today's challenge was set by Christine and it was to use paints that start with the same letter as the letters in your name, <laughs> plus black or white. Um, it was a max of five colors, including the black or white. And I thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to introduce one of my other um, series in fluid art, which is Three Impactful Paints. And in Three Impactful Paints, I take at max three colors plus black and white and do a whole palette around that. And a lot of the uh, focus on this is color mixing. So being able to have a small arsenal of paints, but be able to do a lot with them. So uh, this was a color set I did before, but I thought it would work absolutely perfectly for this video as well. And I had been wanting to do a larger painting with it because it was a color set that I really, really enjoyed working with. So this was a really fun challenge. Um, I hope you stick around for all of the artists and yeah, enjoy. Here we are with colors. So I have Burnt Umber from Liquitex. And I have Mineral Blue from Soho. And the bees come from my last name, Baker. I ended up using my B twice. And then for V um, from the Teneva part of my name, I have Violet. And this is Quinacrinone Violet. And to this, I have added some Burnt Umber to make it a little earthier color, earthier. And then I have, for my white is Pearl White from Modern Masters. And you can see this is fairly thick. And then the other thing I have here is I have some drips from another painting. So I'm going to use that as my base coat. Okay. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is that um, this is a brighter blue than I, I really want to use in this, but it also can be add a, a little bit of brown to it and it'll make a beautiful earthy blue color. And you can see I added a fair bit of the burnt umber in there. And there we go. That is much closer to the color that I want. I wanted something a little deeper and richer. Okay. So I got the idea for my composition today when I was watching my friend Nate Wright's channel and a video he put out this week doing a mountainscape out of ring pours. And I just thought it was a really interesting idea. So I thought I would play with that a little bit and see what we come up with. Probably a little more than I need, but that's okay. Okay. Got a cup here that I'm reusing. And, hmm. white, a little blue, follow that up with some of my violet, my brown, burnt umber, white, blue, violet, Let's see here. I'm gonna put just a little bit of white next to that burnt humber, and then a little bit of blue, and call it a day. Thank you. 
definitely going to need a little more paint than this for this first pour. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. This is really interesting so far. Okay, I'm gonna use a little larger of a cup, but I'm going to layer in the same way again because I do like this a lot. I might just add a little more white in. liking what's going on over here a little more than what's here so I think I'm gonna pour some of this off this way and it's gonna add some interesting dimension here too I think a little more that way down this way just a little bit more again.
Here's a little wet walkthrough. I am really happy with how this turned out. I love that little kind of wispy bit there and all of the different striations. Love that blue and white section. Yeah, I think this is an interesting new way to think about landscapes and I am definitely going to play around with this more. So this isn't entirely dry, but I wanted to show you guys how these colors are developing, how everything's deepening just a little bit. And yeah, I can't wait to see this completely dry because I think this is a really lovely piece. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye.